I'm Steve for This Week With Cars, and I've been thinking about it. I'd like to make the argument that a classic pickup truck is the best collector car that you can buy. The first reason I think a classic pickup like this is the best collector car is because if it's your second car and you already have a car, it'd be very useful to have a pickup. Just because this is a classic vehicle doesn't mean that you can't use it for its original intended purposes. I still use all of my classic trucks occasionally to haul things around. Sometimes I need more than one truck and a vintage truck works just fine. So if you were thinking about adding a classic vehicle to your garage, why not add a truck that can both do work for you and be that vehicle that you take to car shows out on Sunday nights or whatever it is you intend to do with your classic vehicle. For American trucks, they usually always come with at least a six cylinder engine and a straight six cylinder engine is one of the smoothest running engines that you can get. They of course in the mid 50s did start coming with V8s and just like any other classic car, you can easily swap the six cylinder out for a V8 if that's the route you want to go. It used to be that trucks were the black sheep at car shows, but I've even shown this one at a Concours event now. Prices of trucks, especially those in a station wagon form like a Travelall, a Suburban, a Bronco, a Blazer, the prices on those vehicles are just going crazy right now. A lot of trucks were made, there are plenty of them out there, and it could be a good investment. There are still a lot of shows that look down a little bit on trucks or do not allow them in. In contrast, there are, of course, truck-only shows, and vintage truck shows are getting more and more popular. Let's take this truck for a drive. Turn the ignition on, and then there's a pedal on the floor used to start the engine. Another thing that might surprise people is just how quiet these old trucks are. You might be used to hearing them driving around with different exhaust, broken exhaust, but when they're in their stock form, they're extremely quiet. These old trucks are a lot of fun to drive. Obviously, they weren't built to set a land speed record, so you'll be doing highway speeds at the most. For most of the driving that you're going to be doing with it, that's probably just fine. One thing that makes old trucks a little bit more interesting is that the technology didn't come down to the trucks as quickly as it did to the cars. For example, you will find pickup trucks built well into the mid-50s that did not come with any turn signals because on trucks, that was not required yet. It was only required on cars. Another example is the three on the tree shifter that this truck has. These were fitted to a lot of trucks and although you can get manual transmission cars today, you cannot get a column shift manual transmission in a car and you haven't been able to do so for a very long time. So that is definitely one novelty and something that sets the three on the tree or even four on the tree like my Lloyd column shifter apart from driving a more modern vehicle. At least here in the Midwest, most of the trucks that you see for sale around here, they did come equipped with a heater. Obviously the cab size is much smaller than the interior of a big American car, so they work much better. They don't take as much time to heat up the cab or the interior space as a conventional vintage vehicle would. There are, of course, a few downsides. If you bought a truck that was meant to haul things, the gear ratio may be very high and it may not be going very fast. It may top out at somewhere between 45 and 55 miles per hour. Of course, that's easy to change, especially if you just throw a completely different, uh, like a Ford nine inch rear end underneath the truck. Then you can go with any gear ratio that you would like. So when you're looking for a truck, that may be one thing to consider. Make sure that you know what the top speed of that vehicle is. Another downside to a truck is that when they're unloaded, just like I'm driving this one today with no weight on the back, the ride is much harsher than it would be if I was carrying a big load in the back. So because these trucks were built to haul things, they're not going to ride like a Cadillac down the road. Possibly one of the best things about a classic truck is that you can use it 
every day, no matter what the weather is. It only has two doors, so it tends to be very weather tight. The windows have tracks that run all the way around them. They don't have gaps where water or wind can blow in. Unless your truck is a Bronco or a Blazer where you've removed the roof, they all have solid roofs. And if you were even brave enough to drive it in the snow, it has the ground clearance and the tire availability for you to fit the truck with the proper tires for driving it year round. They are also very simple to work on and maintain. There's far less moving parts on a pickup compared to a sedan or a convertible. And usually the engine bays have a vast amount of room around the engine and the components to get in there and work on things. Parts availability for these trucks is also very good. There are many manufacturers out there that specialize only in trucks. And for a lot of these old vehicles, you can order just about any part that you might need. Here in America, you will even find a lot of these old trucks doing work day after day, and they have been for the last 60 years. So, is this 1952 Chevy truck behind me the best classic car that you can buy? Possibly. And if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.